Good morning, good morning, Jane Dobry. Today I'm going to uh, share with you my meal plan for for first week of May. I thought it, you might be interested in having um, a look at how I plan my meals. I usually use my iPad. I have an app uh, uh, on the iPad and I'm going to show you what I'm using. I'm not sponsored in any way. I just like it and that's what I'm using. So I'm going to show you. And usually I'm planning my meals for a week on Sunday and then uh, yeah but this weekend if you watch my vlogs you know we have a guest and uh, the weekend was crazy it was so nice but it was busy so i didn't manage to plan that so it's uh, today it's monday morning and i'm going to be doing it right now and i'm going to show you how i'm doing it i hope you will enjoy and uh, let's get to it okay so uh, as i said i'm usually using my uh, my ipad and uh, i'm using i have my productivity sorry about that so here we go i am using a meal plan this one okay i didn't manage to we, they say that you can sync, sync it with your phone but i never managed to uh, to sync it with my uh, my phone unfortunately but uh, hey maybe maybe uh, we could we could try let's see so like it says it's week of of may 1st 2017 we have uh, monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday and sunday obviously I like to start start my week with Monday because it's like a beginning of school and everything, so we um, we good, right? What I'm using it it's for kids' lunches. Well, for us, what I'm cooking and a little bit for my shopping, but mostly it's about. Uh, lunches for kids because that's the most troublesome thing I find <laughs> okay so as you can see I already in and entered here I have chicken nuggets uh, for the kids and I'm usually starting with the kids lunches so that's going to be what the kids are going to be eating and usually Catalina will get the same for lunch me as you guys know I'm on the low carb diet I'm usually out of those uh, plans but that's what I do. So I would enter manually first what I know for sure. So chicken nuggets today they got, it's actually going to, got, was uh, chicken popcorn. They really like it. Then today for dinner, we're going to have a pizza. So for lunch, uh, I set pizza for tomorrow. Now I will set what I'm sure I'm going to, to, to do for lunches for kids. And then I use the magic wand and see what they suggest me I could do. Now as you can see I'm not using breakfast because this is always uh, cereals or a chocolate chip cookie so it, it really depends on the morning what they feel like so I never set the breakfast but lunches for school need to be set then I have I'm calling it snack but usually it's something war warm when they come back from school and then we have a dinner for everyone so that's how it looks like and then as you can see so my magic wand suggested different things and then if i like something i will just lock it in and like here for example friday i'm happy to have fish and chips for dinner on friday so i'll touch it it will lock and it will keep it now i okay saturday bacon scrambled eggs will work nicely so we can keep that and then tuesday carbonara pasta why not let's keep it here we go and then okay i don't like much of what is there so i'll heat it again and it will show me what else we can do wednesday sirniki yes with pleasure here we go i touched it twice by mistake okay and that's how i go until i fill in the whole week and i'm happy with it of course i'm not sticking to it 100 percent, but most of the time in the morning i will have a look and then i will do my grocery shop shopping based on what i'm planning to do this week okay so right now let me fill in everything and then i will just show you what the week of may first is going to be for us with uh, our meal plan okay so that's how it looks like when it's ready okay maybe i'll go a little bit further so you can see the comments as well hopefully you actually can see what's there let's let's see so Monday, which is today, the kids got chicken nuggets. Uh, when they come back, I'm going to make them sunny si side up sandwiches. Usually it's a toast with a little bit of butter and uh, sunny side up eggs. And then for dinner, I'm going to be making pizza, which they will have tomorrow for lunch on Tuesday. And I like to do that because school has a um, lunch, uh, pizza lunch on Tuesday. So some of the kids order, some of the parents order for kids pizza. Mine don't like the pizza, they prefer mine, but I can give them the same day. So when it smells like pizza, they actually having a pizza. 
Then for cold snack, when they come back from school, they will have some uh, chicken and rice. And then for the dinner, carbonara pasta. And now on Tuesday, I have a comment little here, you see it on blue. Uh, yes, I did not want to go there, sorry. <laughs> here, which says bake bread. So I will have a fresh bread, which uh, on lunch for Wednesday, they are going to have ham sandwiches. So I'm making sure that I will remember to bake a bread. So I will have for their lunches. And then for a snack, I'm going to make sirniki. I'm putting sirniki, but it will be any cheese pancakes. Uh, there are different ones I'm making, depends on the mood. But that's what I put for snack. And then for a dinner, it's a chicken schnitzel with fries and steamed cauliflower. Then Thursday, we're going to have pasta for lunch. And again, this is the same. On Thursday, it's a pasta lunch at school. And uh, Isabella just like her pasta uh, with uh, tomato sauce. Sebastian just like his pasta with uh, with butter. And that's what he's getting for uh, butter and parmesan probably. And that's what he gets for his lunch on Thursday. Now for a uh, uh, warm snack after they come back from school, it's going to be tomato soup. And then in the evening, we're going to make some burgers. Now on Friday, I'm going to buy them uh, sushi. They really, really like it. So I'm picking up sushi. It's just um, not a Philadelphia. It's a California rolls for Sebastian. Isabella just likes the, the cucumber rolls. That's it. And then for snack, we're going to uh, fry some apple pancakes. I'm planning on apple pancakes because probably I will have over uh, Camila with Luna. And I know that both of them like the apple pancakes. So we'll have them. Obviously, my kids like it too. And then um, I put here fish and chips. Uh, I'm not sure yet if it's going to be fish and chips because then on Saturday I also put mashed potatoes and grilled fish. So I'll kind of uh, interchange and decide here, but there is an idea to have fish and chips on Friday night. Then Saturday I want to make some, uh, and again here, baked bread, as you can see, because I would like to make a garlic bread on Saturday. Then we're going to have some bacon scrambled eggs. Everyone likes it. And then, as I said, uh, mashed potatoes and grilled fish for dinner. Now for Sunday, I put egg cutlets. Everyone likes egg cutlets. And then I have uh, zucchini fritters, which I need to pick up zucchini. I don't have zucchini, but I would like to do that. And I'm going to do the one which I can eat as well, which is going to make it easy for me. And then for dinner, we're going to have uh, kotletis habove, which is uh, uh, schnitzels. And then I will make some mashed cauliflower. So that's the plan. And then probably the schnitzels are going to fall. So I'm going to go the next week, as you can see. And then probably for lunch, I will have uh, schabove for kids for school. And that's how I do it. So uh, I'm going to be planning the next week after this, but uh, our week of uh, first week of May looks like this. So uh, yeah, that's about it. All right, so I, sorry, a lot of glare from the light. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the movie. Let me know if you would like more of the, uh, like next week you would like to see maybe every other week from time to time, if you are interested in looking at my meal plans. Uh, if you are, I'm happy to film them for you. So that's what we're going to be eating uh, the, the coming week. I hope you enjoyed the movie. Mm, if you did, please give me a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!